All right, <clears throat> this is my interview video, and it's a little different. I'm not in my processing gear, and that is because the power has been out since 2 a.m. And my companion right now is taking a shower with a bucket of water. We were lucky to have that bucket of water. Huh. Yesterday I showered with pure water. That little water in a bag that you drink. I showered with that. Because the power was out like all day yesterday. Oh, for everybody, for the whole city. It came back on for a little bit while we were at Institute. And then while we were at Institute, it shut off. And we were just sitting in a pitch black room. When we were riding our bikes back in the pitch black, that's scary. Cars are flying everywhere. Motorcycles trying to avoid the gutters of death on the side. Pretty crazy. And then we came back. Luckily, the power came on for a little bit. We were able to warm up our dinner, which is the same rice and chicken. And then we had we were, um, I don't know what we were doing. I think we were just talking last night out in the main room. And then boom, power out. Completely black. You can't see anything. You can't see anything. I was going like this. Couldn't see my hand in, my, in front of my face. It was so dark. Kind of crazy. So we went outside. And we looked at the stars. It just looked so cool. You could just see all the stars up there and just twinkling. It's cool to see the stars on a different hemisphere. I mean, I'm still in the northern hemisphere, but it's sad as the, the eastern hemisphere, which is pretty cool. So, I know, it's been a crazy day. Yesterday and today. I remember last night at 2.30, the fan shut off. Like, oh, ah, that sucked. So right now it's like 9.45 and we can't do anything. We're trying to figure out how we can shower. Elder Brian, he's done this before because his last apartment didn't have water. So he knows how to shower good. I'm still trying to figure it out. But anyway last apartment didn't have water so he knows how to shower good i'm still trying to figure it out but anyway that's kind of the update for now we uh have no fan it's really hot sweating all night long and yeah it's kind of something that you just have to enjoy while it's it's here, even though it really sucks, <laughs> like, these situations and circumstances are not good, and I know that, everyone here knows it, trust me, but you just have to enjoy it, like, I don't know, I'll never be here again, so I, sometimes it's hard to just have a good perspective about it, but I think you just have to enjoy it. So, lately I've been playing my guitar a little bit more. That's good. And also, oh, he just dumped his bucket. <laughs> um, we have a girl named Patience who's on date to baptize really soon. She's awesome. I can't wait to baptize her. She's a rock star. She came to our district conference that was in Hull on Sunday. And I think she's going to be a really good member of the ward. And Hawaii is a super tough place to serve. The branch has so much problems with gossiping and judging other people. Kind of um, rebuking them really big problem here and I remember talking to a member and she was like yeah if I was an investigator investing in this church there's no way in heck 
that I would join the church right now because of how our branch is. So, I mean, the branch is struggling. We're trying to strengthen them and help them know just to love each other and not to judge. And so, thankfully, it's kind of getting a little bit better. And even with those problems, we're able to have patients join the church. And she understands that people aren't perfect, too. Which is good. And one of the things that I'm trying to work on is to not hold back. And I feel like I've been holding back my my testimony to sharing people or holding back my thoughts, my opinions, my ideas. That doesn't help. Like, it doesn't help anyone. And it doesn't even help me. So I'm going to try and not hold back and realize that my whole structure of a person is being changed every day. I can realize that and understand that I'm not going to be perfect, even though I really want to be. And I want to try and focus my characteristics and my personality kind of as Christ. And he only wanted peace. And he was able to talk in ways that brought peace. And that's what I want. I mean, I don't have, like, major contentions every day. Right? But I want to be like Christ in that way. So, I don't know. I think for this interview, that's probably all I got. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep. So... I don't even know if any of this makes sense, but I thought I'd document this when it's something different, because this is really different. I mean, normal. ECG for two days. It's not fun. So, I hope you guys can enjoy your time in America. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you.